Hi everyone, what's up? It's M, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I will be sharing with you some updates of Notefall. But before that, I suggest you watch my full walkthrough video of this Note app for a more detailed tutorial. So this video is solely for updates and additional features of Notefall. So if you're not familiar with Notefall, it is a paid Note app that is comparable to Notability. So this is actually one of my favorite Note apps. It is free to download and you can try the free version, but to experience the great features of this Note app, you need to upgrade to Pro version which costs $4.99 or less than 300 Philippine Peso. This is a one-time purchase which I believe is a great deal. So I'll be starting off with the paper styles and templates. The templates are still few but you can choose an array of color for the background of your paper and the line color as well. You can now save your favorite templates by simply tapping and holding your favorite ones. Another great addition is the option to import your own templates. Now moving on with the pen tool, there's now an additional brush tool besides the ballpoint and the fountain pen. The size option is down here, and there are also different settings for each pen. You can adjust the amount of pressure, the minimum stroke width, the width smoothing, and the motion smoothing that reduces wobbles of strokes. However, the pressure sensitivity doesn't work with my iPad pencil from Gucci Doc, so I won't be able to show you how the brush pen looks like. There's now an additional draw straight line option in the highlighter tool. Having a flashcard in a note app is a great feature because it helps in memorization, but Noteful doesn't have one. Instead, it has an alternative way of memorizing words by using a tape tool. So this is actually a new tool in Noteful. Say for example, you have this note and you want to memorize or study words. All you have to do is choose the type of your tape, then the size of the tape, and then the style and color of your tape. So for words or phrases, I suggest you go choose the first type, which is the line type. Just draw a straight line from left to right and extend the tape until the last word of the terms. So you can go horizontally and vertically. Then to reveal the answer, just tap it once. Now, if you have to cover a paragraph or pictures, you can choose the rectangular type or use the freehand type for irregular shaped photos. Again, just tap the tape to reveal the answers. And if you want to review all the terms again, just tap the cover all option in the tape tool. The color option for the tape is not limited to these ones right here. So to change the color, you can use the lasso tool. Just make sure to enable the option for images and shapes only. Then click style and choose from the color wheel or the palette. Now, to remove the tapes, go to the Eraser tool and enable the Erase Tapes only. But just be careful not to erase your handwritten text. Fortunately, there's a remedy for this and this is the use of layers. So to avoid erasing your handwritten text, before you use the tape tool, you must add a layer for the tapes alone. So this is a great feature of the layers because it won't affect your original texts. Another addition is a laser tool for presentations and also a hand tool for moving and scrolling pages. A great addition to Noteful is stickers. You have an option to import your own stickers from your gallery or create your own sticker. Simply use the lasso tool to select objects, then take a screenshot, click add, and tap on save. Then you can add your new stickers to an existing collection or create a new selection.
You can also export or delete your preferred sticker collection. There is now a ruler tool in Noteful. You can find it on the three dots up here or down on the bottom right of your workspace. So this is very helpful if you need to make use of measurements. Another helpful tool is the zoom tool. So this can come in handy when writing on PDF documents while seeing the overview or the full context of your document. You can also customize or play around with the settings. On the same drop-down option, you can select the crop and resize page. So this will allow you to crop and resize all the pages of your notebook or just crop and resize selected pages only. This is very helpful if you want to annotate or add more details or information on a particular topic or page. You can add texts and images on the spaces. So when you go back to the home page, a new section is added on the left side, and this is the folder section. To add folders, just tap and hold the folder and select new folder. Then type the name of your folder and click create. You're now able to move notebooks to different folders. Scanning documents is also possible in Noteful. You can annotate on them, add tapes for memorization, and so on. All your documents can be synced on all your devices via iCloud. And you can also auto backup via Google Drive. So these are some big updates of Noteful, and the rest of the tools are still the same. So you can go check out my first walkthrough video on this one for the other features. If you want a Note app that is similar to Notability, you can try the Noteful app. It's cheaper but works as great. So if you're interested, the links are down in the description box. Okay guys, that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and please do subscribe to my channel. See you in my next one.